And you, you, you brought this up also. It's like those plant-based, uh, you know, uh, sources of magnesium, they're, they're not what they used to be because the soil is so depleted, right? So even though they, they are the magnesium, they're not as bioavailable, they're losing magnesium. And a lot of that is due to how we're farming, regenerative farm, you know, depleting our yep. soil, right? So right. You, is, is the best diet here a, a balanced one that's going to have that still, but has that source of animal source of magnesium within also? Yeah, I think that's a that's a great um, way to put it. Basically, yes, animal foods have been depleted by about 20% in magnesium, but the plant foods have been depleted by about 40%. So yeah. you've, you've lost twice as much in the plants as compared to the animal because the animal is still going to saturate it. It might take up more food, more plants for it to saturate the magnesium in its flesh, but it's still going to do that. Whereas the plant, we grow it so quick um, for high yield, it has less time to take up the magnesium in the crop itself. And then the fertil the chemical fertilizers that we use um, prevent the magnesium from being taken up from the crop. And so, yeah, you're right. Plants, they're not what they used to be either. Yeah. And unfortunately, the standard American diet doesn't really put a focus on that as well. We eat so much processed food. You talk about refined sugars. You know, when, when you have that standard American diet that's going to be processed food, refined sugars in it, how, how is that impacting our magnesium levels? So when you refine molasses into pure white sugar, you've lost it all of the magnesium. So like the thick brown molasses actually does have a decent amount of magnesium in it. But by the time it gets to the table or by the time it's put into a processed food, it's that pure white crystalline sugar or it's high fructose corn syrup. It has literally no magnesium in it. And then it's taxing your magnesium status from the perspective of spiking your blood glucose, increasing insulin, kicking out magnesium in the urine. So it's a magnesium depleter. When you overeat sugar, it will deplete your magnesium levels. And, you know, refinement of rice, refinement of grains typically causes us to lose, you know, 80 to 90% of the magnesium in that food. Now, if people are looking at the specific diets, we're talking about balanced diets, but people like their specifics. They like their keto, they like their paleo, they like their vegan. Is there a certain diet within those more niche ones that is more prevalent to increasing magnesium levels rather than depleting? Yes. So I would say basically you don't necessarily want to be on a strict carnivore diet um, mm. because when we metabolize sulfur containing amino acids, cysteine and methionine, which are very high in animal foods, when the liver oxidizes that it forms sulfuric acid, and then it basically releases hydrogen ions or that, that's what makes our body acidic. And that low grade acidosis um, which I've, I've published two um, review papers on can actually lead to magnesium deficiency. So you want to somehow offset the acid load of animal foods. I still, I consume an animal based diet. So I get most of my nutrition from animal foods, probably 80% of my calories. You want to still offset that acid load. It doesn't mean you have to consume plants. You can, you can consume low oxalate fruits or vegetables to offset it, or you can consume bicarbonate supplements or citrate supplements or bicarbonate mineral waters. So however you want to offset that acid load, you do want to do that though, from the perspective of not increasing the acid in the body, breaking down the bone and losing magnesium. One of the things I, I read in the book as well was this relation of aluminum, whether found in foods or just in everyday products and how that depletes magnesium. Can you talk about that? Yep. So heavy metals will also basically reduce the absorption of magnesium in the diet. And so you have aluminum um, as a heavy metal, and that's probably the most prevalent. When we do hair analysis, aluminum comes up as one of the most prevalent um, heavy metals. But mercury too is a problem. Cadmium is actually a very big problem as well, particularly for the kidneys. And all three of those can kind of inhibit magnesium. Um, they also increase your need for it because they're going to increase inflammation. And of course, when that happens, you know, you need more magnesium as well. So what's interesting is minerals are one of your kind of, you know, best ways to reduce the absorption of heavy metals because they, they compete with each other. And so having a high mineral diet sort of helps reduce how much heavy metals you actually absorb. Yeah. Now, for many people, you know, there, there's this issue of obesity, of course, right? World Health Organization, more than 1.9 billion are overweight, 650 million obese. That's probably under uh, reported there. But, you know, while Big Pharma searches for solutions in Ozempic and other drugs, you know, should we be looking within the obesity factor at the levels of magnesium we're consuming? One, yeah, 100%, because most people who are obese 
the cell is insulin resistant. It doesn't want to take, it doesn't want to take up more fat. Um, it's already overloaded in fat. So it's most obese people are releasing a ton of free fatty acids in the blood because the cell can't take up any more fat. And all those free fatty acids that we I had mentioned in the beginning of our uh, podcast here was are negatively charged and will bind the magnesium. It inactivates the blood, the blood magnesium, which is really, I mean, that was probably one of the most eye-opening things that I learned is that when you are insulin resistant or overweight, the release of those free fatty acids in the bloodstream is just depleting you of active ionized magnesium. And that's a big problem. Yeah. So if you're on a diet trying to reduce your weight, magnesium should be up there as something you're supplementing. Yes, for sure.